that's it. Thanks for visiting. Uh, this is your reading from now to uh, the end of February. And uh, if you like this reading, as I always ask you, please like, subscribe, uh, leave a comment if you'd like to. I don't say this very often because I, if I say one thing in the beginning, in the introduction, I can go on and say a million things and then it takes a hundred years and I really hate big long introductions. But a lot of people have been saying, oh, that's the reverse, that's the reverse. Yes, sometimes these do come out in the reverse. So I'm just gonna say that now. Um, I should actually put that in my description box, which I will do from now on. So sorry about that. Rant over, not rant. Silly, long introduction over. I'm starting right now. So the first card you have your past is the Hermit. So yeah, obviously this is about being alone, obviously. Uh, you know, self-discovery, because he's got his lantern, he's thinking about himself, he's kind of philosophizing, he's over, is that a word, philosophizing? He's up on a mountain, he's thinking, so all those things, meditation, so, um, so this is how you were for a while, you wanted to be by yourself. I'm actually seeing a big difficult thing that happened, a really horrible thing actually. And uh, I'm seeing division here, so it feels like it was, um, yeah, it feels like a division of people actually. Two groups of people. And, and this thing happened, this thing happened to you. It feels very sad actually. Actually, it's even tragic. It might be even worse than sad. So quite terrible thing that happened. And it happened a while ago, I think. It happened a while ago. And it feels like you still think about this all the time, probably every day. Yeah, I think you think about this every single day. And when this happened, it really changed everything for you. It was like you changed your whole world. So with this division of people, when, when this really horrible thing happened to you, you, you had some kind, sympathetic um, people around you, but I think you also had some people who were the opposite. You, know, you had some people who uh, really reacted in a horrible way. Some people ignored you. You had horrible comments. I'm seeing that as well people walking away. So you were shocked by that. You were really shocked by some of the reactions of these people, I think. And I think that was almost as shocking as what actually happened, the way that some of these people treated you. Really, really shocking, really surprising. And of course, the good thing about this, well, I won't say it's good. Obviously, it's not good. It feels very serious. But at least it showed you sort of who had your back and who didn't. So you were able to divide these people. You had people who were on the right side and people who were on the wrong side. And I think you got away from the people on the wrong side, which is really good. Um, yeah, this is making me really angry actually, because I can see one person here. I'm seeing one specific person here and it looks like they ignored you or they abandoned you at this really horrible time, at this really sad time. And then, they came back and then they expected you to do things for them. That's what I'm seeing. They might have asked you for favors or said, oh, I'm back, you have to do this. And it's like, um, I don't think so. No, I think you're a bit speechless actually. But um, after all that happened, you know, I, I think you're a bit of a hermit because of the way people treated you. And, um, you know, obviously things have progressed since then because I'm seeing it was a while ago, but you're still a little bit like this. You're still a little bit hermit-like. Um, you, ha you haven't got back to the way you were before all this happened and you probably won't ever be exactly the same before all this happened um, and, and you probably don't want to be but you know you still want to be on your own a little bit a lot of the time um, I, I think you know you're like no I, I just want to be by myself not all the time but you have you're more um, you're more likely to do that I think now and uh, yeah there's a big motorbike going past of course there is so yeah, I think you still miss someone actually. I, I think you miss someone from that time. And you think about them all the time. You think about them every day, I think. You might even meditate over um, times you had with them, uh, rem memories of them, things like that. I'm just looking at this beautiful lantern with a star in. So, um, yeah, it's, this is a very, very special person. This is a very, very, very special person to you, or they were. Uh, okay, so I don't want to upset anyone, but whoever this is, um, if this resonates with you, they know you miss them. I just have to tell you that because I'm seeing that. They know you miss them. They understand. They understand something that you're worrying about. It feels like there's some kind of regret here with you. 
um, but I'm getting this really strongly. They understand, they understand. You don't need to regret because they understand something. So, so that's what I'm seeing that. I don't know um, who that resonates with, what's that, what that's about. If that doesn't resonate with you, if you're upset with that, angry with me saying that, uh, just ignore that bit. It's not for you, obviously. So I won't say any more about that. Okay, so the next card you have your past is uh, the Nine of Swords. Yes, you see, sadness, missing someone, there's that again, and it's everywhere. You see, I can't help it. So, um, so yeah, the other thing here is, in this card, is this thing, uh, this incident, this really sad thing, probably happened a year ago, or even more than that, because I was getting a long time ago, but this is showing me probably a year or more. Because if you look at the quilt, this quilt, and you look at the blue patches on this quilt, all the signs of the zodiac are on the blue bits. So obviously, if you make all those up, um, each month of the year makes a year, so a year or more. Um, and yeah, I, I think you're still dealing with this. Yeah, you're still coping. You're still coping from day to day. That's what I'm getting. Uh, you've got lots of emotions uh, going up and down. I'm seeing that up and down emotions. Uh, and you know, it's, it's kind of like one day you're like, oh, I think I'm okay today. I think I feel a bit better today. And then the next day it goes down again. So if that happens, if you have one of those down days, don't think you're not progressing. Don't think you're not getting anywhere. You absolutely are. Yes, you, you, you are progressing. You really are. You know, progress isn't linear. It goes up and down. So just remember that and be kind to yourself. Be kind to yourself because you expect a lot from yourself, I think. Um, you're quite hard on yourself sometimes. Uh, and from what I'm seeing in the Hermit, you know, you have these people around you and they're expecting ridiculous things from you when you're upset and, um, and you know, they came back and they expected you to do everything for them, but um, they didn't do anything for you. So treat yourself kindly. You've had these people who haven't treated you kindly. Treat yourself kindly. Give yourself what you wish they gave you. You deserve that. You deserve that from yourself. So just, just want to say that um, this is a little bit heavy, I know, so far. So this is just how it is sometimes. So, okay. So the last card you have for your past is uh, the Queen of Swords. So yeah, you haven't shut everyone out. You're not a complete hermit. Uh, not as much as you were. You're kind of slowly coming out of that. But again, one good thing that's come out of all this is you're way more discerning about who you'll have around you and who you won't now. You're like, no more nonsense. If if people are going to be takers and not givers, that's it. Goodbye. You know, you, you're totally over that now because you're really, really hurt by not just what happened, but the, some of these people's reactions, and the way they treated you. So, you know, you're, you're really strong about that now. Um, yeah, there's someone around you, I think. This is the other thing I'm getting. Someone's around you. Uh, I'm seeing a love connection here. It looks like you might be a bit hesitant, though. I'm seeing that bit of hesitation because you've got the Queen of Swords. So she's like, oh, I'm, I'm guarding myself. So um, it's not like you don't trust them. I'm not getting that. And they haven't done anything. They're, they're a good person. Um, it's almost like you've got this underlying feeling of it. And I think this probably comes from what's happened in the Hermit card. Um, it's almost like you're waiting for a betrayal to happen. Yeah, I'll, I'll tell you what I'm getting. It's This is what I've got in my mind. It's, it's like a river and it's always flowing. It's flowing and it's flowing and it's kind of flowing inside you. It's like an emotional river. It's always there. It's like you can feel this running inside you all the time. It's kind of like a mixture of adrenaline and anxiety. Um, I'm not saying you've got anxiety, but there's always this little fear there. It's like this water running through you. And... Um, this, it's it's a little fear that you're going to be betrayed. I keep on seeing that because you were betrayed, and and you're you're afraid that someone's going to betray you if you really let them in properly. So, if this is you, obviously something has to be done about this. I'm not sure what might be counselling if it's really bad. You know, you can think of a lot of other things that you could do, but um, you know, you want to let the right people in, but maybe you're afraid your instincts aren't quite right, because they were wrong last time with this person who hurt you, with these other people who hurt you. So you might be thinking, oh, I might get it wrong again. Um, but you know, yeah, you want to let the right people in, but you're afraid that you're going to let the wrong people in if you open the doors up. It's like, I'm opening up the gates 
I don't want to open up for everyone, but if I open the gates up, everyone might come in, and I'm really afraid that the wrong people are going to come in. It's almost like you can't trust yourself. Um, but if you look at this queen, you know, there are birds and butterflies everywhere. Obviously, that's all about freedom, symbols of freedom. So, and on the Nine of Swords, you've got the opposite. You know, she's totally caged in by all these swords. So this, um, this guard that you've got up, this kind of fence that you've got up, um, you know, it's freed you from the bad people, you know, because you've got your guard up against them. But it's, it's almost like you've, it's caged you in from the good people. It won't let you get to the good people because you've got your guard up against everyone. That's what I'm seeing there. So that's a little message there to kind of remind you that, you know, you've got to be a bit proactive in doing something about that if that's you. And yet there's this really, really good person here. And um, yeah, it feels like they want to be closer to you, this, this love connection, but they can't get there. Yeah, it's almost like there's this force field between you. It, it's invisible, but they know it's there. So they want to come closer, they want to come closer, but it's like, no, this, this force field's there. And, and that's exactly what this Queen of Swords is doing. She's got her sword up. So just, just something to think about there, because I think this is a really fantastic person. And of course, you know, if you don't want to be with them, that's, that's fine. I'm not forcing you to be with anyone. But I'm not seeing any problems with them. And I think even if, it's, even if you don't want to be with them, you've got to open yourself up at some time if, if this is you. So you need to kind of try and work toward that. But be, be gentle on yourself. Okay, so the first card you have your presence, the Eight of Cups. Yeah, you know, you haven't totally walked away from everyone, just just people who weren't there for you at, at this horrible time. Because, you know, you were there for a lot of these people. You were there helping them. But when it was your turn, where were they? They weren't there. Some people were good. Some people were good, but just some of them. Um, so, yeah, what happened is, just like what's happening on this card, you walked away. Uh, you walked away from anyone that made you feel less than worthy. And you walked away from all this emotion and this heart, which is what these Wall of Cups is about. So, and yeah, you've still got this little bit of anxiety there. You haven't quite gotten over that yet. That's what I'm seeing. Might not be anxiety, but it's just this horrible feeling of, yeah, I, I just I just want to be by myself a bit with the hermit. I just want to put that barrier up between some people. I'm not quite ready. So I keep on getting that. You know, okay, this is what I'm seeing. I think sometimes it feels like to you, like you're the only person that feels things deeply. Obviously, that's an exaggeration, but you do feel alone in a lot of your feelings. Not all the time, but some of the time. But um, just just going back to this thing that happened, and I don't want to keep on going back to this because um, it, it's not, obviously, it's a horrible thing, but um, this is just something I'm seeing. I'm getting lots of jokes, laughter, all that kind of thing. And I think when you're going through the worst of this, it's like, why is everyone laughing? Why are they all joking? And I, I don't think you said anything, but I think to you, it, it just felt like you're standing there all alone in the middle of all these people and they're all laughing and whatever. And you're just thinking, I'm just totally on my own here. I feel really alone. I'm really upset. No one understands. Everyone's just like, oh, well, let's move on. Ha, ha, ha. And you're just like standing there going, no, I can't move on. I'm really upset. And I've got no one to talk to about this because look at them, they're all laughing and I'm here by myself. So really awful. So I think that's kind of affected you as well, all that. And you're not on your own. You're really not. If you're still feeling a bit like that now, I just want to tell you, you're not on your own. And, you know, it's usually people who don't feel things really deeply that are the loudest and the ones that do feel things deeply that are the quietest, not always, but a lot of the time. So if you're looking for people to replace some of these people you've lost, or you're looking to find some more people to have around you to support you, it, for you it might be a good idea to kind of look a little bit harder, look for the people who are a little bit harder to find, people who are a little bit quieter. Because um, um, I think those kinds of people would suit you, people who are a little bit more sensitive, people who understand you a bit more. So it takes a lot more searching to find someone like that, but it's it's really worth it. So if that's what you're doing, if you're thinking, no, I need some more support around me, that's the kind of person you really should be looking for um, from, from what I'm seeing here. And yeah, with, with this love connection, um, 
they're an understanding person and there's definitely love there. There's definitely attraction there. So if, if you're interested, all you have to do is just, just relax a bit and just let them come to you because they want to come to you. They're just, they're just feeling this barrier. So if you open it up a little bit, you just relax that a bit, just you know, laugh a bit, just open up to them. They'll come, they really will. They really want to come to you. Um, and I'm seeing a similar thing in the Nine of Cups, actually. So I'll talk about that here as well. This is the wish card. So they wish they could be closer to you. That, that's what I'm seeing there. Um, but you know, you're guarding your emotions. Look at this man. He's sitting in front of these cops and it's like he's guarding them, guarding his emotions. So that's what you're doing. So just, you know, if, if you do want this person, if you do want to be with them, just relax a bit. Just let them come in. You don't have to rush. Just be a little bit more relaxed, a little bit more open. Just one more thing I'm seeing here. I'm just seeing another thing here. Um, okay, let me just, yeah. Okay, if, if there's something you're applying for, uh, it might be a job, I'm seeing that, it might be studying. Uh, it's something like that, something you might be applying for. Make sure you've got all your papers in order. Make sure you've got a, a specific piece of paper because I'm seeing there might be something you're looking for, there might be something you've lost, a piece of paper, some kind of document. Uh, it looks official actually. So, you know, if you're tempted to just leave this out and apply anyway without this particular thing, don't do that. I'm getting that message really strongly. Uh, you might have to send out for this document again you might have to apply for this again and have it sent out to you again um it doesn't feel like this piece of paper's near you or around you i think it's far away from you i don't i don't think you'll find it again um you might have had a move actually you might have moved and it might have gotten lost in the move um so send off for this even if it's annoying <laughs> you really should do that because i think i think it's going to be really worth it because you really need to have everything prepared properly to be able to do this application or whatever this is. So, yeah, I, I hope that makes sense to someone. If you're looking and looking and looking for this, I, I don't think it is near you. I think you're going to have to send off and have this sent back to you again, if, if that resonates with you. Okay, so uh, the last card you have here present is uh, the Page of Wands. Yeah, this is a really, this is really good. So this is about a good result. This is about a message. Uh, so if this is about this application, um, it looks positive for you if everything's done properly. Um, so yeah, pages are about messages. Uh, they're, they're students as well. So it might be something to do with um, studying. It doesn't have to be. And a page, the pages, yeah, the, the students, they're a little bit unsure as well. So. Um, there's a little bit of fear here um, but you know that's normal when you're going into something new so if you get this application or you get this letter coming back saying okay you're in you're doing this thing this job or whatever you might be a little bit like oh I'm a little bit scared of this I don't know it's really daunting um, that, that's kind of what I'm getting because you know he's looking up to the top of this wand and you know it looks like he's thinking oh am I tall enough am I good enough um, you know, of course you are. If you've been given this letter of acceptance, um, or whatever this is, they obviously think you're good enough, otherwise they wouldn't have given it to you. So, um, and yeah, there's this kind of, there's still this little river, this little river of anxiety inside you. Um, and um, if you're getting really, really anxious about this, which you might be, um, you know, you might be going, oh, can I do this? Am I good enough? Did they make a mistake? Did they give me the wrong letter? Did they give me someone else's letter? <laughs> I don't think any of that happened, but uh, I don't know if this will help, but if you're getting anxious about something, uh, this is something that helps me. Um, I, I get a lot of anxiety around airports, especially big ones. Uh, you know, I'm always really worried I'm going to have the wrong papers or I've forgotten something or I'll be held up in customs and I'll be late and, and all that. Um, I'm usually hours early when I get to the airport. But yeah, the best, the absolute best thing that helps me is just taking one step at a time, mindfulness, being, you know, in mind in that moment. So it's like, you know, don't let your mind race off in your head and think, oh, I've got this and that to do and all. Oh. 
just think, okay, I've got this one thing to do. What do I have to do now? Okay, I've got to get to this place at this time. Okay, let's get to this place at this time. That's all I'm going to think about. When I've done that, then I'm going to think about the next thing. What's the next thing to do? Okay, I need to go and find this. Okay, so steps like that, little steps like that, just be in each moment, tick off each thing, and you'll absolutely get there without all that anxiety. Because it's, it's kind of like, I find anxiety happens when you look too far into the future and you go, oh, what if that goes wrong? I've got to do that and oh, that might not work and oh, and you start worrying. And quite often depression um, is about thinking all about the past and going, oh, that terrible thing happened to me. And we're not blaming anyone, but usually that's what that's all about. So I think stay in the moment. I know this is a simple solution and I know people who have severe depression and anxiety, obviously they need, you know, proper treatment but I'm talking about just a bit of that kind of thing happening the way to the way I deal with that is just to think in the moment and just to think okay what have I got next what have I got right in front of me and that's how children think you know when you think about children you think oh they haven't got a care in the world they're running around playing they don't care because they're not thinking about all that other thing they haven't got much of a past they're not worried about their future they're just like okay what can I play with now what can I do now so think about all that maybe that might help you okay so the first card you have your future is uh, the hierophant this is a really interesting card actually it it always feels a little bit intimidating to me because it's like this big huge knowledgeable persons up there like a pope or something and he's up on his platform and these monks are kind of kneeling down in front of him and probably because it's organized religion that's probably why it makes me feel a little bit nervous but lots and lots of rules all that any kind of rules and things like that make me feel nervous like you have to do this because it just makes me feel really trapped and and that's kind of what I'm getting here actually I'm getting this trapped feeling around this so it, it's I think this is about work and yeah trapped restriction that, that's what I'm feeling and I'm seeing this application so maybe uh, it's this job that you're applying for and maybe you're doing that you're applying for that because of this kind of restrictive feeling you might be feeling that around your work and yeah there's definitely one person here who um, who's very very rule oriented um, and they have a lot of people there who kind of support that and um, so you've got that annoying person I can see and it just the whole thing just feels really really stuck really stagnant like you can't move you can't be free so it actually looks like maybe you can't really do much about this because um, especially with this particular person because I think they might be high up in the company or something like that because they've got these people um, under them um, following along with what they're doing like these two monks are worshipping this hierophant so if this is you, I can see how this whole thing would be driving you crazy, this restriction. Because, you know, you're a free spirit. You're all about experimentation, going with the flow. You're creative as well. So, um, you know, it might be that you've got a kind of creative kind of job, but you're surrounded by strict rules. Maybe you're in a corporate situation, but you're a creative person. It might be that. It's a little bit like a fish out of water kind of thing. And yeah, it looks really, really frustrating. But yeah, it's, it's just deadlocked, I think. It feels deadlocked to me. It feels trapped, stuck, deadlocked. Um, you know, I'd love to be able to say, oh, there's a way out of this, you can do this or whatever, but I, I really, honestly, I, I don't think there is. And, you know, you've got the Eight of Swords here as well. And I'm, I'm going to talk about that now because, obviously, she's totally trapped. She's in this deadlock. She can't move forward. She can't move backwards. She's totally stuck there. And so, you know, I, I really, really hope you've got this application in if this is you. Um, yeah, it just feels like a square peg in a round hole. Um, and I think you've tried to make it fit. I think you've tried to make it work. Um, yeah, that this person in the higher font might be uh, the tip of the iceberg, actually, because there are lots and lots of things that just don't fit with you in this job. It's the whole culture of the place, I think. that That's kind of what I'm getting. So... Um, if, if this all resonates with you, you have got other opportunities there. I'm seeing that everywhere. Um, and if you don't get this letter, if you don't get this thing coming back to you that I was seeing in the page of wands, there's more there. There's more opportunity there. Because it, it doesn't just have to be one thing. You know, I've got 
lots and lots of positivity you've got things coming back to you you've got opportunities coming to you so so don't give up don't think oh, i've applied for that i didn't get that that's it i'm stuck here no you're not there's more to come as well so keep on applying keep on watching out for things look out for opportunities there is something coming to you that there, there absolutely is so yeah the last card you have for your future is the king of swords so yeah this this king you know he's all about logic uh, there's absolutely no emotion here with this king and uh, okay I hate to say this but I have to because it really goes against your core because you're very um, you know you're very creative you're very open so if all this is resonating with you around work uh, again I don't think you can change this I really don't it's, it's like a system it's like a system and you're trapped in the system and you can't change this so um, if it's as serious as I'm seeing here, the only way really is to just be a little bit like this king while you're there. Um, you know, do what you need to do. Don't be overly emotional. Be self-preserving. You know, he's got his sword up. So if you've got people who bother you, who annoy you, who do things to you or whatever, guard yourself against that um, or anything that bothers you. Just do all that till you can find a way out. Just turn up, come into work, do your work. Um, just keep your head down, keep your sword up until you find something else. And you will find something else because you wanted, you wanted somewhere else. You really are. I can really feel that. I'm getting that in the page of wands. You are wanted somewhere else. You just need to find the right thing. It might be this application that comes in. I'm seeing lots of positivity there. It might be something else, but there is positivity at the end of this. There is a way to get out of this. Because look at this. There's butterflies all over this card. Behind his head, everywhere. Birds. All of that represents freedom. So there is an opportunity for freedom for you. But for the moment, while you have to be in there, that's what you've got to do. Be a little bit like this king. So that seemed a little bit muddled to me, this whole reading. So I hope it made sense to someone. It's Sometimes I get to the end of these readings and I'm like, does that make any sense at all? I don't know. But anyway, so uh, I hope this resonated with you. But uh, general readings can't always resonate with everyone, as you know. Uh, but if you like this reading, please like, subscribe, leave a comment. Thank you for watching.